Hello, cake makers. We are going to make a fake cake and we are gonna start with something called an armature. An armature is any sort of interior structure that holds what goes on the outside um, onto it. And it provides some stability, it provides some um, form so that you can either wrap something around it or continue extending your sculpture around this interior shape. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make an armature using just some real basic simple things. We're going to use some newspaper and some masking tape. So if you have something like this, this is going to be great. People have also used wire, they've used aluminum foil, they've used just about anything that they can find that they can wrap uh, tape around. Tape is really key. So go see if you can find some masking tape. Now I've got some newspaper right here and I am going to use blank newspaper. This is called newsprint. I'm going to use this instead so that the type and writing that was on the newspaper doesn't confuse what you're looking at here on the screen. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, some basic armature technique is folding, rolling, squishing, any way that you can get this piece of paper into a tight form and then wrap tape around it. All right, so what, should, what am I gonna make? What should I make? I'm gonna make an ice cream cone. So it's actually gonna be a cone and then the ball of ice cream on the top. Later, I'm gonna wrap this in model magic. And so it's gonna look like a kind of unusual little ice cream cone sculpture. Here we go. All right, so what I could do is I could actually start with my piece of paper and form a cone. Look at this, there's nothing in it, right? Not for long. So I've got a cone and then I can stuff that with paper. But what I have to do is I have to be really smart about the size of the thing I'm going to make because I only have so much model magic to use. So I'm gonna make it small. All right, so this is going to be the size of my ice cream cone and even this top part is not gonna exist right there. You'll see later. So it helps sometimes to pull off a few pieces and just stick them on the side of the table or stick them in front of you on your workspace so that if you have the need for a quick grab, you can just peel it off and grab it and go. So, all right, here we go. Number one. Now, if you don't want seams, you know, like seams on clothing to show up, Put some tape over them. Look at that, smoothed that right out. But it's kinda hard to smooth that on without this being stuffed. So I am going to actually take another piece of paper, twist it up, because I'm going to aim this towards the point and the end, like in that. And there we go. Shove that in there. There's nothing really delicate about this. So let me just shove that in there. All right, I did not get all the way down to the point, but that's okay. I can also, look at that, adjust it. Tape around that. And keep molding and forming with my hands and my tape. The hardest thing about this is when you are making an armature, you have an idea in your head about what you want this to look like and what this is gonna be. And this looks nothing like what you want it to look like and what it's gonna be right now. And don't be frustrated by that and don't be discouraged by that. And use what you have around you. If you need to squish out something like an end, use the table, push it against the table. Don't try doing everything with your own bare hands. That's too hard to do. I also need to trim this down. So I'm gonna make it a smaller ice cream cone. I don't want this here. Ooh, look at that. See, armature. Squish that in there. Hello, I needed a little extra. So look at that, perfect. Okay, cool. Now. Next thing is going, <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Well, that's why we have tape. All right, get in there. We mean business. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I know, it's not really secure, but that's okay. All right, 
Let's make a scoop of ice cream. We're gonna grab another one. I want this to be nice and tight. If it's too loose, then when you go to tape it, the tape, everything just kind of unbunches and then you don't end up with a really great shape. So I just did that really tight. Is that the size I want? No, but is it what I'm starting with? Yes, so it's okay. I'm gonna tape this little guy together. Just get it to hold together. Then I can take paper number two. I know. Wrap that up in there. Now, you know when you get a scoop of ice cream, sometimes it's round, it's got the little crusty part on the bottom because they scooped it out of the big barrel. Let's see if I can make some of that. Wouldn't that be cool to look at? The answer is yes, it would, if it would work. All right, here we go. Did it work? Can't really tell, it all just looks like newsprint. So let's just stick some tape on it. And then you can always kind of form it later. You can always add more too. You know, you don't always have to have the shape you need on the first try with the paper. You can always add more paper later, just the way I stuffed a little bit more inside of the cone because I had some extras laying around and left over. All right. Voila, a scoop of ice cream. I mean, doesn't that look just exactly like, okay, maybe not, but you get the idea. So let's close up some of these gaps because see this kind of messiness? You can't really wrap clay around that. You know, you could do paper mache as well. We're not gonna do paper mache for this particular project, but that could certainly be something an armature is used for. And oftentimes when you're looking for information on armatures, it's paired with the idea of paper mache. Because paper mache is a very old process, people have always been making armatures to be the interior structure to put that wet, gloppy, squishy solution that covers paper, usually newspaper like this, around a little sculpture like that. Mmm, delicious. Okay, maybe not. Now, let's make one more scoop to go on top. And I know this kind of looks like a little flying saucery looking ice cream. It's okay, look it. I squish it up. I know that I can mold this and shape it to be a little bit more ice cream looking later if I want it to be. Not worried about it. You know, you've gotta remember when you are making something like this, you're making art. You're going through a process. Art is more than just the thing you make. Art is also the process that you use to make something. And you're learning and problem solving every single time you go through a process like this. A process isn't supposed to create perfection. A process is supposed to create an experience of learning. So if you're learning something, whether it's what to do or what not to do, you're still learning. As long as what you're learning is not to ignore the instructions that your teacher is giving you, please try to follow those. I'm doing the best I can with what I got to work with right here. Okay, oh yeah, it looks exactly like ice cream, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's tape some of this craziness down. Try to make it into a ball. Okay. Hopefully you're doing this with me. I mean, not necessarily making an ice cream cone unless you love ice cream. It's kind of fun if you do like ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you like? There's a lot of really good ice cream out there. I think... I had to choose one flavor on my deserted island to have for the rest of my life. It would probably be mint chocolate chip. Whoa. What do you think yours would be? Moose tracks is good too, or bunny tracks if you've ever had that. That's always yummy. All right, did you see what I did there? I taped around the whole thing. Look at this. The tape business is gonna love me because I am using up the tape 
and I'll just have to buy more. Alrighty, so I'm going around and I'm going right up to the edges and right up to the corners. I'm not doing this kind of business like that. See that big gap? You don't want that. First of all, it's sloppy. You're not sloppy. Second of all, you can't wrap whatever you're gonna cover this with successfully if you've got these big kind of tent pole and strap you know, areas of tape coming around with gaps in between. You don't want that. All right, now I have one more thing to show you. This is so cool. Okay, you've got this kind of gap right here, right? Look at that, it's kind of a big hole, isn't it? You might have this on whatever you're making too. If you don't like that, um, and you don't want to put extra clay or extra paper mache in there, check it out. You can take your tape, or whatever you're using, and go around it and close it up. And it actually gives it a better, more realistic form. See that? How cool is that? There we go. Now, don't feel as though you have to cover the entire thing with tape, but you know what? I am gonna put some securing pieces here. I don't want this to flip up or these to come untaped. So see, I'm actually taping all of them down and closing up gaps. Two birds, one piece of tape. You know the saying. Okay. Ta-da! Wow! I mean, it looks just like ice cream, doesn't it? Success, you guys. So hungry right now. Okay, but you get the idea. You're making an armature. You're making a shape of some kind out of some found paper. It could be a, a news catalog, uh, like you, a flyer that you get in the mail that people usually throw in the recycling bin. It could be a newspaper. It could be pretty much anything you have laying around that you would otherwise toss and recycle. And then tape. Tape is key, you guys. So I really hope you have some tape to work with. Okay, bring your armature to class next time I see you, and we will talk about da -da -da, covering it and turning it into art. I'll see you then.